what's up guys and girls this is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com bringing you another video creator spotlight today I'm chatting with Evan Abrams of evanabrams.com and his YouTube channel search Evan Abrams in YouTube and you'll find a channel full of amazing After Effects tutorials I've learned so much from him and I really look up to him it was a blast chatting with him. We talked for over an hour and all of his stuff is golden. We talked about all sorts of different things from After Effects, starting a YouTube channel, teaching online, making money online, how to improve your videos. So check out each video. I've separated the interview out into six individual videos. So once you're done with this one, move on to the next one. Thanks a lot and here's Evan. Uh, I'd say the most recent thing would be the shape layers that have really come into their own. Before you had to basically go from After Effects, take it into Illustrator or Photoshop if you want to do some of the, uh, let's call them more liquidy effects that you see that are very popular, very fluid things. You didn't have the ability to tween shapes before. You could use masks, but masks are not vectors. So you are limited in what you can do with masks. When they switched to having shape layers long ago, uh, that got quite a bit better. And with the every iteration of the software, it gets even more interesting. So the ability to convert vector artwork right into shape layers. Client comes to you, hey, I've got this logo. Could you animate it? And before you might've had to trace that or something, but now you just, hmm. Illustrator file in, bam, it's shape layers. Now I'm doing things with these shape layers. So I'd say that's probably uh, one of my favorite things. Um, I don't get I don't get very fancy in a lot of my work. So like a lot of people enjoy particle systems. A lot of people enjoy third party plugins like Newton, a physics simulator. Um, a lot of things though solve a particular problem, right? So if Folks are looking and they're thinking, ooh, what kind of what kind of fancy plugins should I get? Well then you should get the fancy plugins that solve the immediate problem that you can't solve with the tool set in your hands. So uh, someone was asking me, you know, should I get Newton? Is that a good thing? And I said, well, do you need to realistically uh, simulate physics within the 2.5D environment? And I said, mm, not really. Well, then you don't need to spend $200 on that plugin. There's no need for this. Or they say, uh, do I, should I get Plexus? And I like, well, Plexus is a highly advanced uh, uh, particle simulation. Do you require highly advanced particle simulations? Most people don't. Um, those are two awesome plugins, which uh, I like. And because those are two things that bring something to After Effects that it cannot have without them. So in, in those ways, uh, those things are good. But yeah, I'd say shape layers, boom. That was like, that was under a minute. I killed that one. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if this relates to that question, but do you have one tutorial that you can share with our viewers and listeners uh, that they should watch? Well, if you go to the E.C. Abrams YouTube channel, you can enjoy all kinds of tutorials. But my favorite is, um, I would say if someone is just starting out, you